Hello, uh, I'm Sharon Brown. I'm the Curator of Transport and Industrial Collections at the Museum of Liverpool and I'm the Content Coordinator for the Great Port and the Liverpool Overhead Railway Galleries. One of the um, centre points of the Great Port Gallery is Line Locomotive um, that we can see here today. It's a very important locomotive, it's got a fascinating history. Um, and has many fans, not just in the UK, but around the world. Lion was made by Todd Kitson and Laird in Leeds for the Liverpool Manchester Railway. The railway had opened in 1830 and had proved really successful, so they needed more engines to work on the railway, and Lion was made along with a sister engine called Tiger. But the most amazing thing about Lion is that she still survives today um, and has had a long and very interesting history. She ran on the Liverpool and Manchester Railway from 1838 until about 1857 um, and she was taken off her duties as a luggage engine. She was sold to Mersey Docks and Harbour Board uh, in 1859 for £400 and they used her as a stationary pumping engine at Prince's Dock. And she worked there uh, well into the 1920s. Uh, we have evidence that people knew it was Lion and knew how important she was in about 1923. People had been looking around the dock and discovered this old engine and realised what exactly it was. But it wasn't until about 1927 when members of the Liverpool Engineering Society thought we can rescue Lion and we've got the perfect event coming up to showcase her because in 1930 it was the centenary of the Liverpool and Manchester Railway and there was a great big event planned. She was taken away to crew railway works and she was restored and the works was funded by the LMS Railway. She came back to Liverpool to star in the Liverpool Manchester Railway centenary celebrations. These took place at Wavetree Playground and Lyon pulled an old time train around a circular track and was literally one of the star attractions, proved incredibly popular. But also in the celebrations there was the pageant of transport that took place every day and involved a cast of thousands reenacting um, various events from the history of transport over the years. And there's a fascinating catalogue that goes with it which is also on display in the Great Port Gallery. In 1931, after the centenary celebrations, Lyon was put on display at Lime Street Station. Uh, again proved a great draw to people travelling through the railway and stayed there for about 10 years until during the Second World War she was removed to safety. In the meantime she'd taken up her film career. She starred in 1937 in Victoria the Great. It was only a bit part but she was to go on to bigger and better roles. In 1951 she was part of the film Lady with the Lamp about uh, Florence Nightingale but most importantly in 1952 she starred in the Tipfield Thunderbolt. It was the first Ealing comedy to be filmed in Technicolor uh, and opened up Lion to uh, an audience of film fans around the world. Um, Lion was used in the film and then came back to Liverpool again, went out steaming to various events over the years and it was about 1967 when Liverpool City Museum approached uh, British Railways um, interested in Lion. The museum was opening a new transport gallery so Lion did come on loan to the transport gallery and then was eventually gifted to the museum so she's been in our care for quite a number of years. During that time she took part in the 150th anniversary celebrations of the Liverpool Manchester Railway uh, in 1980 and again was a fantastic draw pulling her replica coaches along the track by Rainhill. Um, she went out again to various events steaming around the country and proved very popular. In the 1980s the decision was taken by the trustees of the museum not to take Lion out anymore. Uh, they were concerned that too many parts were being replaced and that the originality of Lion was being lost. So um, she was preserved in our transport gallery. She has been on loan to Manchester Museum of Science and Industry for about eight years while the new museum of Liverpool was being built. Again, proved very popular. But came back to have lots of conservation work to be put into fantastic condition to go on display in the Great Port Gallery. Lion uh, was conserved in the workshops of uh, National Museums Liverpool. As you can see they've done a fantastic job of Lion. Um, they spent a number of years cleaning, painting, restoring, um, a dedicated team. 
the final product was ready to be moved into the Museum of Liverpool. So she was brought here on the back of a wagon. Uh, lots of people turned out on the day to see her trundling down the road. It was a fantastic sight, a beautiful sunny day, uh, and everyone was delighted that Lion was the first object coming into position in the Great Port Gallery.